How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online video. Today we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and discussing the aircraft carrier that we know we're going to be getting with the release of Online Heists on March 10th, 2015. Now, in this video we're going to be discussing a little bit about the interior of this aircraft carrier, uh, possible names for it, the purpose it's going to serve, and whether or not it's going to be available in free mode or not. Now, before we actually get started with the video, I want to say if you guys do go on to enjoy and want to see more content and coverage like this on my channel, be sure to definitely leave a like. If we could go for 400 likes, that would be awesome. If we've already reached that goal, be sure to leave a like anyway because it helps out greatly. As well as be sure to check out my social media links down below and subscribe if you are new around here. But without further ado, let's actually go ahead and get started with the video. So, as far as name goes or names go for this aircraft carrier, there's a couple different possibilities. Uh, of course, we're going to find out on March 10th when heists are released. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and say that the name is going to have something to do. Uh, with the 96 that we see in an official image of this aircraft carrier released by Rockstar uh, on the runway of the ship we actually see the letters or the numbers excuse me 96 uh, on this runway which leads me to believe that this is probably just a Rockstar poking fun at, at the number 69 a uh, recurring gag throughout the whole Grand Theft Auto series that Rockstar always seems to mention now uh, uh, just after doing further research I have found out that there is actually a, a real-life aircraft carrier called the Nimitz, which this is loosely based off of. And there is actually already one with the number 69, and I guess just to avoid any sort of issues with the United States military, Rockstar has just kind of chosen to go out of their way and, way and use the numbers 96 instead of 69. It's just the same numbers flip, flipped around. So uh, that could be Rockstar just trying to avoid any sort of conflict and trouble that could be associated with this as well as cool little fact this is not the first ever military aircraft to appear in the Grand Theft Auto series in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas there was a, an aircraft carrier military type ship in that game called the LHD-069 and there they go again with the 69 so uh, th that's a really cool little fact now we do have an official location for this uh, aircraft carrier and where it's going to be on the map it's actually going to be in the southeast portion uh, of Los Santos, and it's going to be near the airport and near the harbors, just kind of out there. Probably, uh, my guess is that it's going to be at the very end of the uh, kind of out of map boundaries, and if you go any further, you're going to sink, or Rockstar is going to extend these boundaries out a little bit so we can go out to this aircraft carrier. Now, uh, we do know from some official screenshots and images that we have of the aircraft carrier that... The P996 laser and the Hydras are, are what this hold. No other sort of uh, helicopters have been spotted or uh, other sort of aircraft have, have been found on this aircraft carrier for the time being. That's not to say that we're not going to see anything else besides these jets uh, on this aircraft carrier. Now, uh, we know for a fact, and this has been confirmed by a few sources such as Fun MW2, a reputable leaker and, and modder, and the Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 series, uh, I should say, or the community, that sounds better. Um, he, he's released some code proving and showing that there's going to be an interior for the aircraft carrier in Grand Theft Auto online, and if that's not enough, there's an actual official image released from Rockstar of four people in, in a dinghy, or just a little boat, heading towards the aircraft carrier at night. And if we actually take a closer look at the carrier here, we can see that there is this kind of big hatch on the side of it, this open door that would allow for people to, uh, I guess, go inside there and take what they need. Now, my best, or my my best bet, I guess, and this is personal preference and opinion here, is that the I don't believe personally that there's going to be a heist uh, taking place on the aircraft carrier. That's not to say there's not going to be there. Maybe, and I could be completely wrong. We'll find out in a week, but. My guess is that there's some sort of uh, super technology on this aircraft carrier, such as a jetpack, for example. I highly doubt that. But something big that's needed to fulfill a heist or, or to get a lot of money uh, on this uh, aircraft carrier that we're trying to get. So I, I think that would be really cool to have something along those lines opposed to just a heist where you're trying to go and steal 
uh, jewels and money and things like that. So that would be very interesting. We'll just have to wait and find out. Now, the last, last but not least, and this is the biggest question uh, revolving around this aircraft carrier, is whether or not this is going to be in free mode or if it's only limited to heists. Now, it's hard to say. I, I can't really make any sort of educated guesses on this. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But personally, my thoughts are maybe on the last generation version of Grand Theft Auto V, such as the Xbox 360 and PS3, it's not going to be in free mode. It's only going to be limited to heist due to space limitations, etc. But as far as the newer generation consoles go and PC... Hopefully, it's going to be in free mode as well. If it isn't free mode, I, you can bet your ass that this is going to um, be heavily guarded. It's going to be like another Fort Zancudo. It's going to have some sort of like SAM turrets on it shooting you down if you get near it and things like that, which it, it'd be cool, but it's going to kind of suck it, especially if you want to get on the carrier and have a little fun. So uh, that, that's my best guess. Maybe we're going to see it in, in free mode. Hopefully, that, that would be the best thing ever. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, that's really just about it for the aircraft carrier. Everything you guys need to know about it. And everything that we just know about it so far compiled into one video. So, that's just about it. If you guys did enjoy and want to see more GTA 5 online heist coverage and content on my channel, be sure to definitely subscribe. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Leave a like if we could go for 400 likes, of course. That would be awesome. Check out my Twitter and Instagram links down below. And with all that said now, the way I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.